Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what are trusted ARC sealers in Microsoft Office 365 and how to configure trusted ARC sealers. For let me let me tell you about email authentication. Well, email authentication helps validate mail sent to and from your Microsoft 365 organization to prevent spoofed senders that are used in business email compromise or ransomware and other phishing attacks. But some legitimate email service might modify messages before they are delivered to your Microsoft 365 organization. Now, modifying inbound messages in transit can and likely will cause the following email authentication failure in Microsoft 365. SPF fails because of the new message source, which is an IP address. DKIM fails, DKIM fails because of content modification and DMARC fails because of the SPF and DKIM failures. Now, authenticated received chain, which is ARC, helps reduce inbound email authentication failures from message modification by legitimate email services. Authenticated received chain, which is ARC, preserves the original email authentication information at the email service, and we can configure our Microsoft 365 organization to trust the service that modified the message and to use that original information in email authentication checks. Okay, so let me just quickly log on to portal and take it from there. All right, I am logged on to the portal. So when you are at security.microsoft.com and you are at the home screen, Scroll down to the option under email and collaboration, which is called policies and rules. Click on threat policies. And under rules, click on email authentication settings. You will come at the place where it says ARC, which is authenticated received chain. In here it says authentication received chain or ARC is an authentication method that preserves authentication results across intervening devices and technologies. Its goal is to capture the full authentication story of the email. Add trusted ARC sealers below to your below to trust and pass authentication using ARC seals. If you want to know more about it, please go and check Microsoft documentation. Now, what exactly you use trusted ARC sealers? Well, a Microsoft 365 organization needs to identify trusted ARC sealers only when messages delivered to Microsoft 365 recipients are regularly affected in the following ways. The intermediary service modifies the message header or email content or the message modification cause authentication to fail for other reasons. Example by removing the attachments. Okay, so now let's say if I click on add ARC sealers, I will say domain picker. It says add trusting signing domains. The domain name you enter here must be a match to the domain shown in the domain D tag in ARC seal and ARC message signature headers. You can find this in the email header of the message. You can view these in the properties of the message in Outlook. Okay, and now in the add this this option add trusted ARC sealers. Now we have to enter the trusted signing domain in the box. For example, I can for lab purposes I can mention Fabricam. F A B R I K A M. Okay, the domain name must match the domain that's shown in the D value in the ARC seal and ARC message signature header in the affected message. Now if you want to uh, check the headers of the message so you can view internet message headers in outlook or you can use the message header analyzer at mha.azurewebsites.net now you have you can repeat this step as many times as necessary and to remove an existing entry just select x in the end so i click on save this will add this arc the domain in the arc sealers and you can use exchange online powershell to add trusted arc sealers as well and if you want to validate a trusted arc sealer now if there is an arc arc seal from a service before the message reaches microsoft 365 check the message header for the latest arc headers after the message is delivered now in the last arc authentication results header look for arc equal to pass and ODA equal to 1. 
Now, what these values indicate? These values indicate the previous ARC that has been verified, the previous ARC seal it trusted, and the previous pass result can be used to override the current DMARC failure. Now, if you know, if you want to know more about mail flow about the trusted ARC sealer, what happened? Let me show you the documentation. Now, if you will see this uh, diagram. So the diagram in this section contrast mail flow and the effect on email authentication results with and without a trusted ARC sealer. So in this diagram, Microsoft 365 organization uses a legitimate email service that modifies inbound mail before delivered into Microsoft 365. It says Contoso publish SPF, DKIM, DKIM and DMARC onto the DNS. Now from the mail is coming from contoso.com to fabricam.com. This is the on-prem IP. This is the third party IP content modified at third party. Then we SPF fail for this. Because this is a third party IP address. Now DKIM fail content modified at third party DMARC fail. Because when DKIM and SPF fails, DMARC fails. And the mail lands into junk and quarantine or it is it gets rejected. Because the sender SPF published was, was this IP. 102.23.55.50. Okay, now if you will see the another uh, diagram. This is the diagram which demonstrates the results with a trusted ARC sealer. The sender is 102.23.55.50 and then on-prem. ARC seal by third party. Admin accepts third party ARC seal. SPF fail for 255.10.201. DKIM fail content modifier at third party. Now ARC get pass and accept it. DMARC fail. Spoof pass. Results into the inbox of the recipient. You can always check your ARC headers and message header analyzer at https colon slash 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 mha dot azure websites dot net and if you want to review the spf dkim or dmark configuration procedures check the configure email authentication and about email authentication section under office 365 security i'll try to cover uh, most of the things regarding spf dkim and dmark in the coming videos but if you want to do it uh, yourself, you can go and uh, please go through the Microsoft documentation. I hope this video was informative for all of you. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.